and it's homebrew coming at ya. I've got what should be a, a pretty uh, pretty current review. This is the uh, Next Adventure Black IPA by Fort George. And they, they put out some really good beers, I must say. It's a nice 16 ounce can. It's 6.2% uh, ABV. I don't know what the IBUs are on this. Uh, they had a release party on September 14th and then it released into stores about a week later. Uh, today's the 30th, so it's, it's been out for just over a week. Um, it was a collaboration brew that Fort George did with the Next Adventure, which is an alternative sporting goods store that uh, they kind of promote sporting events and activities and things uh, in the Portland area. Um, so I'm gonna get this one uh, popped open and we'll give it a try. That is one hell of a head for a black IPA. Let me tell you, this beer is made with um, organic two row, uh, Munich 10L, Victory, uh, acidulated malt, and Carafa 2. And then the hops are Simcoe, Amarillo, and Citra. Now, if that doesn't get you drooling, I don't know what will. And look at this beautiful two finger head. It's, a, it's kind of a khaki. Interesting mocha almost colored head on this. Uh, I can't see through it, so it's dark. It's a it's om it's pretty much just about black, I'd say. It's a beautiful looking beer. So let me get the nose on this. Woohoo! <laughs> and kind of like I might have expected. Okay, first of all, I'm gonna say I do get roasted malts. I got a little bit of chocolate off that even. But boy, I got some big grapefruit uh, and citrus in general, and I'm getting some uh, I'm getting some tropical fruits as well. Uh, boy, it's hard to nail down. I mean, yes, I got a lot of grapefruit, but I'm getting a little bit of stone fruit coming through too. A little bit of a a little bit of tropical, but I can't nail anything specific down. Um, but you do, you get the nice roasty malt, and I do get a little bit of chocolate off that as well. So, all right, cheers, let's dive in. Oh, that's nice, you know, it's a, it's a, it's a medium body. I'd almost say on the lighter side of medium. It's an easy, easy drinking beer, but boy, it's got some great hop on there. Great hop character, of course it's pretty fresh, so it would. Got some nice roastiness. Oh, that's pleasant, man. Lot, loads of hops. I'm, I'm getting some pine off it, which is great. Some good pine. I'm definitely getting the grapefruit on that. I can feel the bitterness building up in my mouth, but I'm still getting some roasted malts. Not a heavy, but lighter roasted malt with a, just a hint of chocolate on it. Man, the back side of this it's just really creamy and smooth as it's going down and then it finishes off very dry leaving you with bitterness and grapefruit on the tongue big time the very first part of the sip is smooth and creamy and you're getting really light roasted malts with a creaminess um, with that hint of chocolate right at the beginning in the middle of the taste you're getting uh, some hints of stone fruit and tropical, besides the grapefruit, get a little bit of a, a hint of like tangerine on there. Stone fruits, I wanna say a hint of peach on that. Yeah, I wanna say I'm getting a little bit of tropical, but I can't quite nail down what that is on the tropical side. And then going right into that back side, you pick up, like I said, more of that creaminess, the grapefruit, etc. cetera. But uh, I also should mention, I'm getting a little bit of the caramel flavor. It's just a hint coming through the the base malt uh, obviously is there to carry through all the hops they probably put loads of hops in this um, and there's still tons of hops in this because it's so fresh particularly but uh, but it's enough to hold it down that malt backbones enough that you get the dark malts you get just a hint of some chocolate which is interesting because you know, there's no chocolate malts in this. Uh, you get a hint of breadiness on it as well. Um, that would that would you know probably come from the victory malt, I assume. Um, wow, 
What a fun beer. What a fun beer. Oh, I'm delighted this is a 16 ounce can. Uh, <laughs> this is this is just drinking really nice, but it's a little different because one, it's so fresh, but two, it's just, um, there's just so much of the grapefruit on the backside, you know, but that creaminess then going to drawing out, just delightful, just, just a really nice beer indeed. All right, well, let's move on to rating. <laughs> I gotta tell you, it's not, it's not your atypical black IPA because it is not super strong in the, uh, in the malts. It just isn't. It's a high hop, baby. It's lots of hop resin. You know, you've got some pine resin. You've got, then you go to your grapefruit, like I say, tropical fruit. So it's just, it's not completely characteristic of most uh, black IPAs, uh, which makes it a little tougher on rating. And yet, there's so much flavor on this. There's so much stuff with just that hint of the dark and hint of the chocolate's good. Probably over time it'll mellow out and taste more like a, a typical black IPA, but I'm just loving this beer. For black IPA, I think this was just creatively done. I think it was well well designed beer. Uh, I, I've got to put it up in that excellent category. I'm going to give this one a 92, I think, for a black IPA. It doesn't have all the characteristics you would expect, but it is definitely an excellent beer. Overall, um, wow, ah, my personal taste. Well, generally, I think I like a, a, a more true black IPA, but <laughs> this has got so much hop character. I mean, come on, how can you not? You got your Amarillo, Simcoe, and Citron there. How can you not? I'm loving this. I'm loving this. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to rate this actually higher than I did on my IPA rating. I just got to give this a 94. I, I'm surprised, but I'm giving this a 94. This is probably because I'm drinking it so fresh. But I can only judge it for what it is today. This is a great beer. I'm going to tell if you can get your hands on one, I would definitely do it. This is the Next Adventure Black IPA by Fort George Brewing out of Astoria, Oregon. Astoria is in the far northwest corner on the coast. It borders the uh, Pacific Ocean and the Columbia River. Great brewery. Great beer. Life's too short to drink cheap beer. And I will see you in the next peer review.